Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. What a wonderful message. Friends, we have a time for our offering now, and uh, we'll have our ushers come around with the offering plates. And uh, in this time, I want to give thanks to you, your generosity, the gifts that you give, uh, and, and certainly financially, but time-wise, gift-wise, talent-wise. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Would you join with me in our prayer of dedication and thanksgiving? Holy Shepherd of all generations, we bring our gifts this morning with thanksgiving and praise. We present these tithes and offerings not from hearts of obligation or debt, but with the confidence and joy that through your love made incarnate in your Son Jesus, you forever removed our debt. Our joy and gratitude are hard to contain. Use our gifts and our lives to do your work of compassion, mercy, and redemption. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. We have a time in our service for prayers, and in, this is where we have an opportunity to lift prayer concerns or joys, celebrations that we might want to share with our church family and friends that we may be in prayer or celebration alongside of you. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the service, there, on the back of our welcome card, there's a place for prayers and thanks, uh, praises, and perhaps you're not quite ready to share them out loud, but please write them down on the back of the card. Check the appropriate box on how you'd like it followed up with, and, uh, and we'll, we'll make sure that we're praying for you. 
or celebrating with you. Prayer concerns or praises that you have. Brenda? And his name? Tim. Tim. Um, on a similar note, his niece, which would be my second cousin, um, Stacy, she has stayed for breast cancer. Um, she's probably not yet 40. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. We'll be in prayer for both of them. Brenda? For all of those preparing to go on the mission trip this summer. For all those preparing to go on the mission trip this summer, Elliott County, Kentucky, uh, I believe the little town we will be uh, missioning in is Sandy Hook, and uh, Sandy Hook, Kentucky. And uh, we have currently 19 people that are signed up to go. Youth and some adults. We're looking for more. We have 35 spots reserved. And we'd love to fill every one of them. Uh, so if you're interested in going on the mission trip, this will be our third year going. And uh, if you just want some more information to know what it's all about, see Anna Marie Bramstead or myself. We'll be happy to get you caught up. Other prayer concerns, praises, joys, celebrations, Mary. Yesterday was Veterans Day, and I thank you to all of our veterans who have served our country and all of our servicemen who are serving. Yes, amen. Thank you to our servicemen and women. Yes, Janelle. Total blindness now. Her name, Janelle? Patty. Patty. Thank you for sharing that. We will keep her in our prayers. Brenda, did you have your... We continue our prayers for uh, the Dirks family and that extended family, which is so large. We keep them all in our prayers. Uh, very nice celebration yesterday as we celebrated his, his life. I want to give thanks ahead of time for the meal which we are about to eat. Uh, the folks downstairs have been working hard since early this morning and many of them are the same folks that worked hard on the meal for the funeral luncheon yesterday. And uh, there's so many of them uh, that I, I can't possibly name all of them. And many of them are doing the work behind the scenes. So I don't even know who they are, but I just know to, to say thank you to anybody I run into down there for the work they've done. And uh, especially, though, I do want to name Dave and Cindy Call. Uh, they, uh, both of them have been here since the early morning, working hard, and same yesterday. And uh, I, I believe they were one of the last couples out of the church yesterday afternoon. I'm sure it'll be the same today. So we give thanks. All right, my friends, let's take the prayers that we have lifted up joys and celebrations and take a moment of silent prayer with our Lord Jesus Christ.
good and gracious God, almighty God, God of all that is seen and unseen, creator of this universe and everything that's in it, giver of love and mercy, forgiveness, God of grace, God of glory, God who created each and every one of us in your image, we give thanks to you. As your children, we cry out to you, hear our prayers. Hear the praises that we have lifted up as we glorify you, as we revel in the gifts that you have given to us, especially the gift of light, that we may be light into someone else's darkness. Hear the prayers of concern that we have lifted. Health, sight, cancer, our friends and family at Emmaus Homes. There's so many, O oh Lord, that we lift up and trust and trust into your care. Bless us now, Lord that we may be a blessing to others as we pray the prayer that Jesus taught the disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. invite you to stand as you are able as we sing our going forth hymn God be with you Friends, I share this benediction with you and I want to uh, encourage and invite you to come down and have a wonderful meal with us. I believe there's also takeout. If you have a schedule that you want to keep today, you can take this wonderful meal with you. Let's pray. 
May the love of Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, bring us wholeness. The grace of Abba, God the Father, grant us peace. And the breath of the Holy Spirit instill passion and unity unto all of us. Give us strength for this and every day as we go forth to love and serve the Lord in all that we do, all that we are, and all that we will be. Praise God. Amen. God bless you, my friends. Some of you I'll see tomorrow morning. The rest of you I'll see on Sunday.